Hi, and welcome to Lunch with Lisa, where I share with you quick and easy healthy meals. And today, we're gonna make Cauliflower Sushi from Medical Mediums Cleanse to Heal. You can find this book on my Amazon store. Link is down below. It's Lunch with Lisa. So in my journey of food and health and figuring out what's best for my body, I keep coming back to Medical Mediums Cleanse to Heal book. It is so good. It's got a ton of recipes in it. And this cauliflower sushi recipe seemed great for today because I had all the ingredients right on hand. And whatever I didn't have, I just improvised with something else. So easy. Now I'm not doing the 369 cleanse right now, but I am starting to look back at eating more of the foods on that program, including starting my day off with a nice tall glass of lemon water, and then following that up 30 minutes later with a glass of celery juice. Celery juice is super easy to make. You can see right here in my video of how I made it just using my blender. But I made some sushi before, you can check that out here, and I wanted to make it again using cauliflower as the rice. Now I also made rice sushi next to it just to compare. Also because my child was kind of mad that I was making it with cauliflower rice since he was expecting real rice. I think he quoted Uncle Roger. Hi, yeah. I was just like, oh, he watches Uncle Roger too. Okay. <laughs> For this recipe, you're gonna need one pound or one head of cauliflower, and I just cut it up into little florets. Nori sheets, just about two to three for this recipe. One red pepper, half a cucumber, one to two carrots, and then one cup thinly sliced red cabbage, but I just had green cabbage, so that's what I used. If you have wasabi powder, this is really awesome to use to make it taste more like sushi, totally optional. And then for your dipping sauce, you're gonna need some maple syrup, a couple limes for their juice, cayenne pepper, and grated ginger. Fresh, of course. First, you're gonna place the cauliflower florets into a food processor. Now pulse this until it looks sort of like rice. You'll know when you see it. It's kind of small, looks like rice. Doesn't smell like rice at all. <laughs> now set this aside. Next, if you have a sushi rolling mat, get that out. It makes this so much easier. But if not, don't worry about it. You can totally make this without the sushi mat. I like to cover my sushi mat with some plastic wrap just to make sure that it doesn't get super dirty. Then you're gonna place one sheet of your nori. You're gonna find the shiny side. So one side's kind of rough, one side's pretty flat and shiny. The shiny side you wanna put down onto the cutting board or onto your sushi mat. Next, scoop about three quarters of a cup of cauliflower rice, place that on the end of your nori sheet closest to you, and then spread it out in an even layer covering the bottom two thirds or so of the nori. Next, you're just going to arrange your desired fruits or vegetables. I went ahead and thinly sliced my red pepper. I cut my carrots into sticks. Then I also thinly sliced a cucumber and I added in some sliced mango. Next, you're going to roll the sushi. You're gonna carefully lift the nori from the bottom edge closest to you and begin rolling it tightly toward the top. If you're using a sushi mat, make sure you lift off the mat to let the nori stick to itself. But if you don't put anything wet at the end of your nori, it won't stick together. It just falls right apart. So you can either dip a finger in water and run along the edge, or you can cut a lime in half. Give the lime a little squeeze and then just rub it along the edge. Or you could also use an orange. Then using a sharp knife, Slice each sushi roll into even pieces. Then you're gonna place them cut side up on a plate. To make your dipping sauce, in a small bowl, you're going to whisk together the maple syrup, the lime juice, the cayenne pepper, and the ginger. I also made another dipping sauce using some teriyaki sauce and some aminos, or you could use soy sauce. Then I took the wasabi powder, read the instructions. All you need is like a teaspoon or so. It says four teaspoons, I'm not making that much wasabi. So I just used about a teaspoon of wasabi powder, mixed it with a little less than a teaspoon of water, and made it into a paste, and then flipped it upside down for maximum spiciness. And boy howdy, is it spicy. Woo, this stuff will take the hair off your back. If you need to clear out your sinuses, eat a little bit of wasabi, it'll work. Now the rice is way easier. All I did was take some rice I had in my fridge. I heated it up real quick in my microwave just to get it a little bit warm so it's a little sticky. And then I spread it out and it stuck way better. Cause the cauliflower kind of fell out of the sides, but the rice just stuck in there and it held everything together so much better. So if you don't like cauliflower, flour, just go ahead and use rice instead. No one's counting calories for you, just you. So make sure it fits your macros if you're tracking those. If not, eat away, enjoy. So here I have my sushi. 
Hmm. Can you tell which one is which? I can. <laughs> this is the maple dipping sauce. And then we have our teriyaki. And then I put some wasabi on the plate. And get a little, little spoon for that wasabi. Let's try this out. Now, I put the mango in there to give it some kind of little sweet kick. I'm gonna try the dipping sauce that comes with it first. Ooh, okay. Ooh, that wasabi is strong. A little bit goes a long way. I believe I got this wasabi on Amazon, so you can follow the link down below to find it. Okay, the cauliflower one. You know what? It's pretty good. It's not bad. It really tastes like sushi because of the nori. It gives it that seaweed type flavor. And then add in the wasabi and the dipping sauce. Not bad, not bad. If you haven't had sushi in a really long time and you're craving sushi, definitely a good little craving buster. Now I'm gonna try it with the rice. I have a feeling I'm gonna like this one a little better. <laughs> I mean, just because rice to me is so wholesome and homey, it reminds me of, of just, I don't know, it's just got some warmth to it. Cauliflower is kind of cold and hard. I'm gonna try the other dipping sauce for this, the teriyaki. Mm. Okay, so the rice is pretty good too. I didn't cook my rice long enough to get it soft enough, so it is kind of like tough, kind of like the cauliflower. So they're actually pretty similar. You know, in a food fight, I think the rice would win, hands down. <laughs> Always rice with sushi. But if you're not eating rice right now, cauliflower is a great substitute where you can still get that sushi flavor. And this recipe is in your 369 cleanse, so you get to have sushi in a cleanse. Hey, I'm down for that. <laughs> and making it at home means you know exactly what's going in it. Of course, that's the best. If you like what you see and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more medical medium recipes, let me know by liking this video and leaving a comment down below. And if you want to help me out, there's a few ways you can do it. You can shop below at any of my affiliate links and I might receive a small commission. Or you could become a patron over on patreon.com slash lunchwithlisa. And it's always free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. It's lunch with Lisa. made another dipping sauce using some soy tea, soy tea, fairy, yaki, soy tea, fairy, yaki. Oh. <laughs> I also made another dipping sauce using some teriyaki and some coconut aminos. They're not coconut. <laughs>